For more than two years, a historical building in Little Rock has been on the city's demolition list, but the family is still fighting to keep it up. Now, a petition is making its rounds for signatures in hopes of preserving this piece of history. Our Alexis Wainwright has been following this story and explains the significance behind the building. This is the building that is now in jeopardy. This would be the workplace for Andrew Jeffries, a prominent black bondsman and realtor back in the 1960s and 70s. He passed away, but now the property is owned by his surviving family who wants the building to stay. Everybody that has lived down this way looks at that building as a landmark to the community. Since 1925, the Murphy Jeffries building has stood tall on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Little Rock. But now I had received a letter in the mail saying that we're considering uh, putting this building on the demolition list. A place that's on the Arkansas Register of Historic Places has been put on Little Rock's demolition list since 2018. After I cry, after we cry and we wake up the next morning, okay, let's, let's go see how we can save the building every day. The family of Jeffrey says this building is a part of history that people need to learn about. Jeffries worked on an important case with the Jeffries Bell Bonding Company. He was the first black salesman of Block Realty, and several salesmen worked for him before starting their own companies, according to the Murphy Jeffries Facebook page. And if the landmarks are not there, or something that can talk about it, then you have nothing. Since they weren't able to get the issue on the city board agenda, the Quapaw Quarter Association started a petition that has over 1,600 signatures. We've really just been trying to get some um, traction with the city to get them to reconsider. Meantime, the family has a firm message for city leaders. Please save the Murphy Jeffries building, not only just for the family, but for the South End community of Little Rock for the state of Arkansas. The Jeffrey sisters say they plan to revitalize the building and have it serve as a civil rights advocacy on the south end of the city. We've reached out to the city leaders for comment, but we haven't heard anything back. Reporting in Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.